Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the walkthrough for level six. I'm on N for Lego Lord of the Rings. All right, so we're gonna start with the cutscene and then I'll get to the biz. Do you know how the orcs first came to be? They were elves once. Taken by the dark horrors, tortured and mutilated. A ruined and terrible form of life. Now affected. My fighting uruk -hai. One of the halflings carries something of great value. Bring them to me alive and unspoiled. Kill the others. Saruman. All right, so... This being the last chapter of the first book or movie, whichever you prefer to call it, uh, this is a pretty heavy cinematic or cutscene intensive level. So uh, there will be a lot of jumping back and forth between action and cutscenes. And so, yeah, so we've sped all the action up. Right now, we're just kind of in between. It's dumped us off right by a lake. Uh, we did skip one small port where we jumped around and actually found a mithril brick. But we, uh, we're we not getting to that yet. We got a video in, in store coming up for uh, mithril brick, so uh, we just decided to cut that out. So as you can see, we're just on the map here, right outside where it dumped us from the previous mission or uh, adventure. And now we're going to head to the GPS miss that stone because it sucked us in. upon the edge of a knife. Stray but a little and it will fail to the ruin of all. Huh? Uh, uh, hmm. May these cloaks help shield you from unfriendly eyes. And for you, Samwise Gamgee, elven rope made of heathline. Thank you, my lady. Farewell, Frodo Baggins. I give you the light of Erendil. May it be a light for you in dark places when all other lights go out. All right, like I mentioned, it's a heavy back and forth, cut scenes to action. This is a nice little row scene. They're just tying everything together because they did a fabulous job of bringing the story to life in Legoland. So we'll go through a little loading screen here, a little cut scene, and then we actually got a nice little chunk of the uh, actual action. So Lake at nightfall. Hide the boats and continue on foot. We approach Mordor from the north. We should leave now. No. Orcs patrol the eastern shore. We must wait for cover of darkness. Where's Frodo? Oh. None of us should wander alone. You least of all. I know why you seek solitude. There are other ways, Frodo. Other paths that we might take. 
I know what you would say. And it would seem like wisdom, but for the warning in my heart. Warning? I ask only for the strength to defend my people. If you would lend me the ring. No. Oh, it should be mine! Give it to me! <sighs> Ah, ring mode. Gotta love ring mode. Alright, so there is actually an objective here to uh, not allow Bordermere to catch you. And we made that mistake. We walked right into him here in a second. So if you can make it all the way to the top of this hill without letting him catch you, then you will complete the objective and earn the trophy slash achievement, which is called That is a Rare Gift. So... Anyways, uh, we will be addressing that here when we make our attempt through free play. So, like I said, we're just kind of enjoying the story. This is more of a playthrough, uh, but we do grab a lot of the mini kits and stuff along the way so far. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. We're just going to basically work our way through and try to collect as many studs as we can, as always, trying to get that true adventurer status. And just because we're stud whores. This time we're a little pint-sized stud whore, though. Pull out my little giblet of light. Work my way up the hill. This is a really cool section. Like I said, uh, they've done a great job tying everything in. Uh, I was actually even surprised to see that... Uh, see here, I got caught. Had I not have gotten caught here, we would have gotten the objective slash trophy achievement. But we got caught. We're noobs. And to be completely honest with you, even though we've read the trophy list and whatnot, we, and we were prepared for this, somehow it still managed to happen. And uh, so, shame on us. I thought this was cool too. You build the stairs and then they roll over. So you can see there's obviously free play stuff right in your face. Uh, the free play is going to be pretty sweet because it's, as soon as you get the characters, it's going to be real straightforward. You know, you shoot the targets with Legolas and pull the hooks down with Sam. And, you know, there's all sorts of stuff coming up. I won't spoil too much. But. Most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. You gotta bust up some rocks and build some stuff. And in this case, you had to build a staircase. I'm gonna go up and above and drop some stuff and spook Boromir. Do a little high rising. Working our way, working, working. I don't like the fact that uh, there's these segments where you can't jump, you roll instead. That's a little weird. When in doubt, smash everything in sight. That's usually the Lego credo. Uh, this one here was a little confusing to me at first. You got to break all of these things and have all of the white pieces available and flashing. And once you get everything broken, it will actually give you the prompt to build. And there you see it. And we build a pretty awesome catapult. Check this out. Watch what we do here. Instead of getting on it and going for a ride like I would have chose to do, we shoot a rock. And again, just smash everything in your path. I mean, that that's the best advice I can give you for really the entire campaign is just anytime you come across anything breakable, smash it. Unless you've already achieved, you know, true adventurer status and have the 10 billion studs and, you know, already have everything figured out, I guess. But me, myself, I enjoy smashing things anyways. Destruction. All right, so here we switch back and we kind of see what's going on with the rest of our crew. And we can see that we need to build some fire. But we also need some firewood. So let's see what we can come up with here. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. You can smash the canoes, although they don't destroy themselves. They don't crumble to pieces. I guess they're a pretty uh, important part of the story as far as being able to get here. But pretty much everything else is uh, destructible, which is nice. Yep, free play galore. That's going to be a Sam free play item there. So yeah, when we go through and uh, come back and do the free plays, we will be speeding most of this stuff up because all of the relevant how to get through the level stuff is pretty much what we're doing on this take. Um, and then we'll be 
pretty much purely focusing on the collectibles for the video so obviously we have to go through and play and go through the same notions as will you uh, however we are assuming that you are watching this series and if you get stuck that you know that you can revert to this series to figure out how to get through there's a part coming up here uh, where I've got to push some stuff around and it the the perspective on the area is kind of a, a hindrance because you almost I mean, you know what you need to do, but it, you can't really see where it needs to go. Or at least I had a hard time seeing it. So, and I'm, I'm obviously not the smartest guy in the world, but uh, I'm usually pretty uh, observant to things like that. So, as you notice there, speaking of observing things, there is a uh, statue there. Gave us a uh, one of six there. So. Uh, we can expect to find a few more of those uh, in our trials ahead. All right, so this is that particular spot that I was just referring to where you got to push some stuff around. So first you got to throw a little angry dwarf and uh, smash him into that. As I'm sure we're probably getting uh, about a third of the way on our throw Gimli 30 times trophy slash achievement. So that'll be one that uh, we'll be happy to see pop. Doesn't Don't think we really need a video for that, do we? can't figure that one out then you probably haven't gotten very far in this game all right so here's what I'm talking about about the perspective so if you look there's actually a little tile path for that giant pillar in front of me to be pushed off towards the left or the back or however you're looking at it northwest how about that um, <laughs> then uh, once we push it down then we can keep doing what we need to do but I had a hard time trying to see, so I'm like, what do I do? Push this around? But, didn't take me long. Actually, I won't lie. The wife came in and saved the day. She said, can't you just push that right through there? She saw it pretty much right away, so. But, because I had a hard time figuring that out, I figured I'd pass on my uh, horrible experience. So, here in about two seconds, I grab Legolas, jump back up there. And we gets to business. Make the jump. All right. So I try pushing left, try pushing right, try knocking that around. No go, no go. Nope. That's going to be a free play. Oh, I fall again. I fall. Nope. Got to go back up there, Lego. Is it ironic his name is Lego Loss? I think they knew there was going to be a Lego game. I just wanted to match it early. You think? Maybe Tolkien could answer. Eh. No, he wouldn't be able to do that. All right, so we'll push these around. Once you get the one on the ground, it's pretty obvious of what needs to happen. Just need to get them close to the wall there and then jump your little happy elbling booty up there. Cha, 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 cha. <laughs> I didn't like how they kept running down the hill on me. I was getting frustrated. I was like, man. Smash some stuff, then I gotta go chase him down the hill. Gravity was definitely not working in my favor there. Alright, we get to throw the little angry guy again. No, it's like pretty much anything that's on the ground, unfortunately, you do not get to throw him at. I try every time though, and as should you, especially if you're going for the 100%. The last thing you wanna do is have to come back and do something silly, uh, you know, specifically for him when you may have been able to knock it out along the way. Kind of like me not getting touched by, uh, what's his face going up the hill here? Old, uh, handsome boy, Bordermere. I don't know if that's like a, I don't know. It's a weird name. All right, get that blue one. You want to make sure you get that. Thousand points is definitely not something you want to pass up. And just like the purples, you know, you want to make sure that, uh, the blues and the purples are your absolute priority. Silvers are pretty much everywhere. Lots of those. Ten apiece. You know, I wouldn't worry too much about them. They do add up fast, but the blue and purples. Look at me. I'm beating around the bush. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd planned that. I was, I was hoping to uh, get some chuckles out of that one. Yeah, there's some stuff coming up. Uh, you know, spoiler alert. Uh, you know, we meet this dude named Gollum coming up, and boy, Gollum must have had some bad food or something, because he gets a bad case of the Gollum farts. And once you get to the, the next area, or actually it's the swamp area, so it's a couple missions ahead. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Swamp farts are no good. 
Especially when they're Gollum Swamp Farts. Alright, so back in ring mode. Which again is one of my favorites. Because we are more or less invisible. And on the brink of going crazy. So yeah, that's a nice little stash there. Once you knock those down after building that ladder, make sure that you destroy the debris there. Uh, it is pretty easy to spot, but it's also pretty easy to walk right by, assuming that uh, your main concern is trying to get this trophy slash achievement. Which, if you notice, had we not have ran into him on the stairway, we'd be sitting pretty. Oh, look at that, another statue. So, that's the third one. Uh, we didn't make note of it. When we were beating around the bush, there was a statue in between uh, a couple of uh, other rocks that we broke down, and we actually, uh, you know, uh, we ha that has to be it. There's no other statue, so uh, that's where you got to go back. The one's on the hill, and the other one's uh, right after you climb up after knocking that stuff down with Camille. All right, so we'll stud hoard up here for another few seconds. And we are getting fairly close to a short little cutscene. Told you we had a nice little action sequence here. We got her done. We got uh, all the studs needed for True Adventure, but hey, I've been known to die a few times and then lose that. So, so far I haven't determined if uh, you actually cannot achieve true adventurer status like if you get it and then you die a few times if you lose studs because I know you lose studs but Ooh, scary remember this this dude having his eye on you spam that button as fast as you can Wee. that can't be good all right, so, boom, there's another statue. If you're counting, that's four, right? Right? All right. So once you're sure the area is secure, you don't want to follow the green trail and bust it open. Frodo? Where is the ring? It has taken bar, man. Would you destroy it? I would have gone with you to the end. Go, Frodo. Run! Go. All right, so there is also a tro trophy slash achievement for taking out these guys with Legolas. In fact, you have to defeat 42 of the Urukais, or I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, for the pointy-eared -er elvish princeling trophy slash achievement. So definitely uh, try to take advantage of those while you have them here. And although you can't shoot the guys up top running frantically, uh, take out all the guys you can with Legolas, and then make sure you save and continue. Or take a break. Maybe it's time to take a break. Who knows? Regardless, make sure you save. Here you go, a couple more. I think we counted, we had like 12 or 13 by the time we were done with this, so uh, definitely going to have to hopefully encounter them in another spot or play through a free play once or twice, or who knows, maybe they're out in free roam. Again, we at this point have not done much free roam. You can see there is a mini kit glowing from back there, but you do require some free play characters to access that area. So, in the famous words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'll be back. There's another mini kit right up there, and to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure you can grab it, but we did not get an opportunity here because we were unaware that as soon as you got a little bit up here, the cutscene cuts, or kicks. So, there is a little glowing circle right there indicating that there's probably somewhere or something you have to do there, but I get just a little antsy and try to get a little bit higher up this to get up higher, and Calgon takes us away. Nice little sword fight, and as soon as he's toast, it's over. So. What's up, Rosevo? The Horn of Gondor. What of me? Uh, 
Alright, so we got ourselves a little checkpoint. We're just going to keep uh, smashing and grabbing here. There's another save and continue point. It's a little uh, redundant if you ask me. And unfortunately, there's no Lego loss here. So, you can't uh, take these guys out. However, I do believe these guys endlessly come here. So, this would be a good spot to just come in free play and take advantage of the endless... Uh, what, are, what were their names again? Urukai? Urukai? And then take those dudes out. And you should only need to, you know, hang out here and spam these guys for a while. Or farm them. Whichever your preferred word is. Whee! Look at me! Sliding on a slide that's going the wrong way. Alright. Climb through again. This is just kind of a rinse and repeat process again. You go up. You want to make sure that before you fully take him down, before you get past the second line, you go up there and you smash that with the black design. Make sure you snag that up. Knocking some stuff down, terrorizing the neighborhood. Look at all those dudes right there. I mean, that could be a Lego loss uh, demolish fest right there. So after some uh, cha 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 cha, gotta go over there and build that. No, go build. Come on, go build. Actually, no, you gotta jump. That's right. I had a hard time with the jump. Shut up. this game is geared for all sorts of ages, kids, adults, everything. But was that not some innuendos there? I mean, uh, uh, you know, a cock and a, a, a big old yellow doe. I mean, come on, I'm trying to keep it, uh, you know, PG here, but let's, let's, uh, you know, let's give credit what credit is due here. I mean, those were clearly, uh, there for the kids, but yet at the same time have an adult meaning too, so... Anyways, little rooster, cockadoodle doo. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Alright, back on track. So, basically, uh, you gotta take out the main boss here, and you just wait for him to come down after you kind of antagonize him from down below. And it's the old, uh, you know, switcheroo, bait and switch. Let him pick your one guy up, switch the other guy, and go and stab him in the back with your sword. And rinse and repeat for the final cutscene. They took the little ones. He's down. Frodo. I tried to take the ring from him. The ring is beyond our reach now. I do not know what strength is in my blood. But I swear to you, I will not let the White City fall. Nor our people fail. Our people. No. I would have followed you, my brother. My king. No. No.
Sam. Come on. Well, after some sad goodbyes and a nice little river ro riverboat ride, uh, we'll go ahead and collect our trophy slash achievement, get our uh, unlockable characters that are available in the free room now, and we'll start tallying up the rest of this stuff. So for those of you who haven't figured it out yet, this is the end of the first movie slash book, and will be the, uh, well, actually the credits run right after this. So we did uh, achieve true adventurer status, which as you probably noticed was uh, 50,000 studs. And uh, probably wouldn't have been doable had we not found that 10,000 stud, but on the other hand, I don't know. Then we also got a blacksmith design, which gives us the mithril rope, which will come in handy at a later date. Get a couple of bricks, you know. And yeah, keep piling them up, piling them up. So there is a big long credits that run after this for the first movie slash game slash book slash whatever. And, uh, and then it goes right into the next one. And I assure you the game is just as awesome as it continues. We're looking forward to putting the rest of these videos up for you. Hopefully these are helping you get through any of the spots that you get stuck on. But that will go ahead and wrap up a LEGO Lord of the Rings level 6 walkthrough for Amon N. And yeah, had a blast. Got a, got a few of the collectibles along the way and more to come. Look forward to the free plays. Lots to do in free play. So we got our work cut out for us. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. And head on over to Facebook and Twitter as always. And as well, until next time.